Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dom and today we're exploring some of the features in iOS 7. The first thing here that I want to show you in this video is quick access to most of the toggles that you'd normally find within the settings app here. So you have like airplane mode, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, stuff like that. Well, what you can do here is when you're on the home screen, you can actually swipe up from the bottom to reveal what is called control center. Now this gives you access to plenty of toggles, music control, stuff like that. As you can see here at the top, we do have different toggles right here. We have airplane mode, you can enable or disable that. We have Wi-Fi, uh, next to that one we have Bluetooth. Then we have do not disturb. And finally, the last little toggle we have is orientation lock. Now below that, we do have some brightness controls here that you can adjust. And then we have music controls as well. So anywhere you're at in iOS, you can pull up Control Center literally anywhere. You can adjust your music, you can adjust your brightness, Wi-Fi, you have a flashlight toggle here at the very bottom. As you can see, you have a little row of apps. Now, I don't know if these are going to be customizable in the future or not, but right now they're not. I did a little looking around, but I couldn't find anywhere to change these guys. So hopefully that'll be in the final release, but we do have the clock app right here. Personally, I find that very handy. We do also have the calculator and then next to that we have the camera app as you can see right here quick access to the camera anywhere in iOS I really do like this little control center though it adds quite a few toggles that we've seen in jailbreak tweaks such as SB settings now before I forget to mention it you can access control center from the lock screen as well just by swiping up like that as you would anywhere else in iOS you do still have standard music controls here on the lock screen but you have the expanded ones down here in control center if that's convenient for you but I just wanted to give you guys a quick little run through of Control Center, how it works, how it looks, everything like that. You have toggles accessible anywhere within iOS. You can open up these apps right here from the lock screen really quick. I hope that Apple allows you to change out those applications, but I didn't see it anywhere in the settings here. As you can see, you only have the ability to disable it on the lock screen. This is Control Center though. It's in iOS 7 that will be coming out this fall. iOS 7 is listed to be compatible with the iPhone 4 and up, the iPad 2 and up, and also the fifth generation iPod Touch. Now, I don't know. Seems like they left out the fourth generation iPod Touch. That very well may be the case as they just replaced it not too long ago. So thanks again for watching this little preview of Control Center. Hope it gave you a nice little look there. Appreciate everybody watching. Thanks again. This is Dom and have a great day.